Good morning, River House. This is Pastor Jordan. I'm going to continue on uh, the same thought from yesterday's devotion and partnering with God uh, in this deconstruction process where he's bringing our soul to silence and rest. And uh, our soul often protests uh, this silence because silence is confrontational and it confronts the patterns of busyness and you know activity that we do to busy ourselves actually keeps us from the rest and the peace of God. And so the next three days, today, tomorrow, and the next, going to talk about different activities that we can actually train our soul to come and rest through. And today I want to talk about worship. In John chapter 4, verse 23, Jesus says, An hour is coming, and now is here, when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Uh, I'm sure many of you have heard that phrase before, worship in spirit and in truth. I want to break that down quickly. Uh, when Jesus says in spirit, he's referring to your and I spirit, not the Holy Spirit, saying uh, we'll worship him in spirit. So we are spirit, soul, and body. Just a quick understanding of that. Our spirit is that which communes with God and experiences God's presence. Our soul is our emotion, our will, our intellect, and our bodies are the physical parts of us. All right, so Jesus is talking about spirit-led worship, uh, which is not emotionally based, but is in response to beholding God. So our, our spirit communes with God, and our spirit is actually that which is to lead worship. We're responding to who God is. It's not a feeling. It's not a song type. It's not a, 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 an emotional experience. It's a, it's a spiritual reality. Right? And the spirit is unseen to our natural eyes. And it says that we walk by faith, not by sight. So faith, the spirit, spirit worship is accessed by and through faith. So Jesus is talking about faith. True worship is out of the spirit. It's done in faith of who God is. It's not done in feeling of who you feel like God is or what you feel like doing. It's about faith of who God is. So spirit in truth. Uh, truth, very simple, it's the word of God, um, both written and spoken, what God said and what God is saying. So Jesus is saying that true worship takes place from the spirit by faith in response to the truth of who God is, right? Simple. So we're, we're to worship out of our spirit in response to the truth of God's word, meaning this, worship is an act of faith. Uh, it's, it's responding to God in, in no matter what we are feeling. And just to give you like a biblical example of, of worship, uh, this is Isaiah 54, verses 1 and 2. It says, Shout for joy, O barren one, you who have borne no child. Break forth into joyful shouting and cry aloud, you who have not travailed. For the sons of the desolate one will be more numerous than the sons of the married woman, says the Lord. Enlarge the place of your tent. Stretch out the curtains of your dwellings. Don't spare. Lengthen your cords and strengthen your pegs. For you will spread to the right and to the left, and your descendants will possess nations and will resettle the desolate cities. So this is craziness from the natural perspective, right? But God is saying, shout, rejoice, in your physical barrenness, rejoice because my truth, my promise to you is that you're going to have great fruitfulness and your descendants are going to go and possess nations. So don't worship from your soul, worship from your spirit, worship out of faith in response to the truth of what I'm saying. I, I think this will uh, make it make sense to you. All right. So the truth is that faith is a muscle that must be exercised. Right? Just like we go to the gym and we use resistance to build muscles, it is times of resistance like what we are experiencing right now. Circumstantial uncertainty, financial uh, you know, upheaval, uh, jobs that are being lost. There are all types of circumstantial unknowns right now. There are all types of difficulty and resistance to your soul that is taking place right now. But the truth 
is that in these times is the greatest opportunity for our faith to grow. And it is these times as Christians that our spirits, we must train our spirits to rise up and actually take the leadership in our worship, right? Soulless, soulless worship, I worship God because I feel like it, actually dissipates in times when the soul is is experiencing all of the turbulence of the circumstantial volatility. But our spirit is communing with God. And what takes place when our spirit rises up in response to the truth of who God is and we worship God is that our spirit actually starts training our soul and brings our soul into submission to the spirit. And it brings alignment to, to who we are as human beings. And so our, our spirit can actually draw our soul out of the activity of the world and the craziness and into the presence of God, right? Psalm 42, David says, why are you in despair, my soul? Why are you hopeless within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him. We're seeing this fascinating interplay where David's spirit is actually commanding his soul to come into subjection with the reality. He says, I don't care if you're feeling disturbed right now. I want you to praise God for the hope and the goodness of who he is. And so right now, these days, today, is a time for your spirit to rise up because God has not changed. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is good and he has never been more worthy of worship than he is right now. So it is time for your spirit to rise up, begin worshiping God and train your soul how to respond in times like these. So I want you to put this to practice this morning, right? What areas are you being hit in right now? Uh, is it finances? Is it job security? Is it your kids' schedules? Is it your health concerns? Is it family members? There are so many uncertainties. For me, I have a wedding that's planned in six weeks. I'm trying to buy a home for the first time and, and walking, trying to figure out what I'm to navigate. There's so many things that this means for all of us, so many implications, but I want you to, to, to in those very areas of concern, I want you to go to the word of God, to the truth of God, and I want you to get a promise from God or just, uh, just, just find the truth of who God says he is. You know, he says that he's Jehovah Rapha, the Lord, our healer. He says he's Jehovah Jireh, the Lord, our provider, right? And so right here in this area where you're being hit, where your soul is probably disturbed and experiencing emotional unrest, I want you to go to the scriptures, get a revelation, the truth of who God is. And then I want you to command your spirit to begin worshiping God. And I want you to spend this morning worship him. Don't, don't worship out of feeling. Don't worship out of your soul. Rise up in your spirit and engage in the holy activity of worshiping the worthy king of kings who has never been more worthy than he is right now. And train your soul how to respond in trying times like these. This is part of what it looks like to strive to enter into the rest of God and to bring our soul into the presence of the peace giver and the one that gives true rest. God bless you. Have a wonderful morning with the Lord and we will see you tomorrow.